What's going on, gang? Matt here, Country Song Teacher. Hope you're doing well. I get so many questions about Matt. How do you sing and play guitar together at the same time? So I'm going to do a little video on that, just kind of breaking down some stuff. What usually happens is your guitar is not up to the level of your singing. You can hear a song on the radio, you can be in the shower or whatever, sing a song. But your chord changes aren't smooth enough, aren't fast enough, or in the right timing to put the singing with the guitar. So for example, the smile on your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me. The touch of your hand says you catch me. If ever I fall. That's Keith Whitley when you say nothing at all. So take a song like that, for example. Very easy to play. You're going to do a two count. So, so down, down, up, down, up. Then go to your D. If you're new to my lessons, what I do, I keep the bottom two strings locked to make the chord changes easy. D, G to D. The C at 9 is exactly like a G, but it's slid down to fourth and fifth. So G, D, C, D. Back and forth. So what you want to do, first of all, can you play that smooth? You got to be honest with yourself, not what you hope to do. Let's be real here. Can you do that with consistent timing, maybe without even looking, just one? So you should be able to do that. And then when it comes to the singing part, Keep it very basic. Don't be trying to get all Celine Dion. I mean, y'all know how it is. Keep it very basic. Even if it's kind of just very monotone or whatever, just see if you can sing with a steady timing. You know, singing music's all about the rhythm and the timing. Smile on your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me. The touch of as you catch me, if ever I fall. So that's what, what, what I want you to work on there is just playing very slow, very steady, and seeing if your voice can keep up with your guitar playing. I guess another way to look at it is can your guitar playing keep up with your voice? I'm sure many of you watching this video could just, the smile on your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me. The touch of your hand. See how that has just a steady flow? Even a lot of times, y'all don't see, but I'm kind of patting my knee when I'm playing to keep that steady timing. Or just that. And I've taught so many people, kids, adults, young, old, men, women, everybody, that think I just don't have rhythm or I can never sing and play at the same time. When the truth is your skill level is just not right there. That, that's what you need to hear. You just don't have your skill level at the right spot. You can do it. Hang in there. I always say with practice, for whatever reason, it helps me do a lot of small practice sessions. So instead of grabbing your guitar and playing for an hour, play it 10 minutes. And go set it down. Come back later on, 10 minutes. Set it down. A lot Because you're teaching that muscle memory. What you want your brain to do is learn to trigger how to play that. So my other song you always hear me play is I'm gonna be somebody. That's just walking down the guitar from a G to a C to a D. So two G's, two C's, four D's. So I'm gonna be somebody. So many of you also know the importance of this. This is called a capo. So if you're a beginner guitarist, you're watching my videos, you're like, man, I ain't no good. You probably can't play bar chords way up and down the neck, all that stuff, and you're still even struggling with the regular chord changes. What's so nice about this, 
let's say that was in the key of G. I'm gonna be somebody. What's so nice about this is if, let's say you just know those three chords, G, C, and D. You can use this little puppy and it changes the key of the song. So for example, let's say we put it up here in a capo third. Like I've said in other videos, every time you put this capo on a fret, it raises the song half step. So a G goes to a G sharp, to an A, to an A sharp. A B, then a C, there is no B sharp. So so forth, it raises a half a step each one of those. So you're playing your same four chords. I'm gonna be somebody. One of these days I'm gonna break these chains. So you can see that that's a little bit higher. And you can do it two ways. You can sing on that higher octave, like I'm doing now. I'm gonna be somebody. or you can sing the lower, kind of the bass run. I'm gonna be somebody. So see, you're, it's almost like you're staying underneath the song, so to speak. One of these days I'm gonna break these chains. I'm gonna be somebody someday. You can get your heart and So like I said, you can decide with your voice. I don't know whichever one you think sounds better. You can go high. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be somebody. Oh, I'm gonna be somebody. It's just kind of different layers of the song. So you're singing the same key, it's just deciding. And I, I highly recommend take this capo, maybe even get a friend, and put it on the different frets and sing something that you know, whether it's I'm gonna be somebody when you say nothing at all. Smile on your face, lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes. For whatever reason, I love putting that capo in that first fret. Just a good sound to me. So, I can hear the lonely howling out my window. I can feel the whiskey not to win a thing. It's two in the morning, the TV's on it. I never feel so far from home. I can hear the lonely. Home sleepless in a hotel room. I taught that on my personal channel. It's an unreleased song, but I love that little jam. If you want to see it, it'll pop up here. Make sure y'all subscribe to my personal channel. Just my name, Matt McCoy. I taught that sleepless in a hotel room. It's just E minor, G, D, C. All right, guys, that's the video here for today. You can play and sing at the same time. If you're struggling, hang in there, guys. I struggled forever, man. I'm telling y'all. I don't just say that being humble. It took me years. I struggled, struggled, struggled. In a lot of short practice sessions, it just started to click. Even I went like a, like a year away from guitar. When I came back, it started to click somehow. So stay confident. Stay in there. You got this game. And be sure to check out tomorrow's video. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a fundraiser. We're going to raise so many money for toys. We have 90 orphans my family supports. And, uh, my dad, pre my dad teaches to them uh, twice a week, the boys and the girls. And I can't wait for y'all to get, be a part of this. So be sure to check out tomorrow's video. We're going to do a, a Christmas toy drive. And I can't wait, guys. I'm, I'm going to give big time to it. My parents are. People in my gym are. So hope you guys can be a part of it, too. Be sure to check that out. Go to my website, countrysongteacher.com for all my DVDs, songbook, all that good stuff. I appreciate all the support, guys. I can't tell you that enough. Love you. God bless you.